We have covered skincare for our face. We've talked about body care, as well as taking care of the skin on the backs of our hands. But we haven't yet dived into chest care, and this is something that I think doesn't get as much attention as it needs. Growing up, I come from a family where everyone steps out into the sun and instantly gets the most beautiful golden tans. And then there was me who just would burn thinking about the sun. My mom always said to me, you need to take especially good care of your skin and really be mindful of your chest area. I'm 40 years old today and I think I've done a pretty good job so far. Is it perfect? No, but I'm happy with it. And today I'm going to share with you everything that I use, what I do, what I don't do, and hopefully some of this will resonate with you and you'll take it into your own chest care routine. Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and I am the beauty editor at Cosmopolitan Middle East Magazine. I'm also a blogger. I have a blog called planetlauren.com and on it I chat about all things related to women's wellness, spirituality, skincare, and beauty. I've also written an ebook. It's called Manifest Like Lauren. It is a treat to read. It's only $29. It's 30 pages long. Think of it as a guidebook. And the thing is, I can bring whatever I want into my life, whatever I want. And I've learned how to do it. And I share with you all of my tips and tricks, whether it's something that you want to manifest that's non-material or material, I'll show you how to do it. And it works as long as it's for your highest good. So I need to manifest a chest care video. That's what we're doing right now. I do want to say before I get into the products I use and why I use them, I am currently filming this on my iPhone with the front facing camera. I am in my bedroom and in front of me, I have a gigantic window. You could probably see the reflection in my eyes. It's one of those uh, floor to ceiling windows and it opens up to a balcony. I don't have any filters on this video. I have not edited this video and there are no tricks, no sorcery, none of that business. This really is just me. And in terms of Botox, because people are, some people have been very, uh, abusive in the comments lately. I will just mention for my forehead, I know my eyebrows don't move. This is genetically just how I am. I can move my forehead and create any lines that I want to create. But for some reason, when I talk, I've just never moved my eyebrows. You can look at my earliest videos on YouTube. You'll see I'm the same way there. I do get Botox here um, occasionally. The last time I had it was in the summer. And when I smile, you can see that the lines, the little crow's feet are there it's definitely starting to wear off if it hasn't completely worn off already. I do get a little bit of Botox here as a preventative for the 11s. I'm pretty sure it's not there anymore. <laughs> so that's just my little Botox spiel because if I don't say it, the comments are just gonna get crazy. Also, I on my chest, I have had laser before. I've had it twice. One time I had picogenesis. This is a great one to use if you have a lot of hyperpigmentation on your skin. It also can bring up pigmentation that's deep underneath brings it to the surface, looks crazy for about a week. You look like you look 10 times worse, but then everything sloughs off and just this fresh, uh, clear, even toned skin comes just out from underneath. So I have had that before. I've had it once. And I also have had broadband light, which is a treatment that's going to really brighten the skin and it helps to build the collagen. I've had that twice and I've had it about three years apart. So that is my kind of laser history. <laughs> and I want to tell you that just because I, I'm always striving to be, of course I am, authentic as possible. I don't hold anything back, but I'm finding if I don't mention everything in each video, people get really, really upset. So getting into the chest care routine. I shower every single night. And when I take a shower, I'm very mindful of the types of products I'm using. And I do not use any type of body washes that are heavily fragranced. You will not find me using Body Shop or any of those types of you know products because I just don't want to have all of that fragrance and the sulfates thinning my skin out, irritating my skin, and I don't want to put any hormone disruptors on my body. What I do use is this. This is by Sarah V. And this is a hydrating cream to foam cleanser for normal to dry skin. You can find this at Target. You can probably find it, I'm sure, in your uh, local drugstore on iHerb.com or wherever you like to shop. I tend to buy them in bulk from Target when I'm back in the US. I live in Dubai. I've been here for 15 years. 
but I buy a bunch of them during the summer and then I'll just use them throughout the uh, throughout the year. Now the ingredients label is incredible and I am an ingredients freak. I have a bachelor's of science in mechanical engineering with a concentration in biomechanics. I also have a master's of science in nursing and the sciency part of it is just, it's my vibe. So I actually threw it for a period of time. It was during, I would say right before the lockdown era and during it, I would just look at ingredients labels and I would start Googling and researching every single one. Sorry about that. I just got a phone call from my son and it completely sidetracked me. So in looking at this ingredients label, there are, pro there are ingredients in here that are just phenomenal for the skin to really keep that skin barrier strong and to keep that skin looking healthy. For me, I'm all about just looking as healthy as I possibly can and feeling as healthy as I possibly can. So I have very dry skin and using a product like this is just going to not only strengthen that skin barrier, but just keep that skin elastic, moisturized, hydrated, and looking very and feeling very supple. So I use this as my body wash. I also use it as my face wash sometimes in my second step of my double cleansing routine at night when I'm in the shower and washing off all the makeup. And this for me has just been an incredible product. You don't need to buy a separate body wash for you know, the shower. You can just use a face wash that is going to give you that same wonderful effect on your body. And as you can see, this is a product that is one that, you know, the price point of it isn't similar to maybe a Sunday Riley price point. It's much lower. And I don't use words like budget or affordable because what's affordable to one person is not affordable to someone else. But for me and the budget that I'm on, the CeraVe, it'll last a long time and it's great for my wallet. So after the shower, I like to use some of my face care products on my chest and that is my retinol and my lactic acid. The retinol that I use is by Sunday Riley, and this is the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. Now I put this one on first, and that's because this has the active ingredient in it. It's a retinoic acid ester. It's going to seep deep into the skin, and the retinoic uh, receptors in your body immediately recognize it, this form of vitamin A, and they just start working their magic right away. This is a very powerful ingredient, and this is a wonderful formula for the skin. I use this on my face too. I also use this Good Genes Lactic Acid. Now I do this one with this on top. That is a pretty strong combo. If you were going to start running, for example, you wouldn't be say, okay, I've never run a marathon before. I've never run before, but I'm gonna just run a marathon. Instead, you might just go for a run around the block. This is what I would call a marathon. And I suggest you only do this if you have approval from your dermatologist or esthetician. But I then put on my lactic acid serum. This is going to exfoliate the skin and it actually has a secondary benefit where it's going to moisturize as well. It increases ceramide production. So these two together just keep that skin looking as healthy as it possibly can. And Moving on, after I put these on, I always put on my moisturizer. Now, the moisturizer that I use is this CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion, and this I use all over my body. This is a great one to use on your skin as well, and it's just going to really moisturize the skin. Um, it has the different ceramides in it, which are going to strengthen your skin's barrier, keep that skin more elastic, more hydrated, moisturized. It also has hyaluronic acid in it, which is such a beauty buzzword. It's been for a while, right? But the hyaluronic acid is going to uh, just stay in the skin, hold on to water, and keep that skin plumped up. This is a great one if you have a lot of lines from sleeping. This one will help to kind of minimize the appearance of those lines a little bit. Now, please don't think that if you haven't done any of this stuff in your life yet, and you're just thinking to yourself, okay, this is it's not going to work for me. Let me tell you, it's never too late to start. It does not matter if you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, whatever. It's never, ever, ever too late. If you start today, yourself, six months from now, one year from now, two years from now, your future self is going to thank you because you will see a difference in the appearance of your skin. I do want to add that that lactic acid as an exfoliator is going to really minimize the appearance of the sunspots, any hyperpigmentation you have on your skin. 
And um, I do wanna say, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but when I got the Picogenesis laser, that one is great if you have a fairer skin like me. If you have a deeper skin tone, you don't wanna use Picogenesis, but there are other lasers that will give you the same benefit but the picogenesis could actually make you end up having more pigmentation. So make sure that you're just at a clinic that you trust and talk to your dermatologist or the laser therapist to figure out the right laser for you if you choose to go down that path. Now, sometimes I like to put this on my skin. This is by Biosense and this is the squalene oil. As children, and in our teens and up until our mid twenties, our skin is just naturally so plumped up, it's hydrated, it's just, it's incredible. And that's because we have these natural moisturizing factors in our body. Unfortunately, in our mid twenties, they stop working as much. And one of those things that we naturally have is something called squalene. Now, as we get older, the amount of squalene our bodies produce to keep our skin so hydrated and just supple, beautiful looking, it drastically starts to decline. But we can actually apply it onto our skin and get that same effect. It'll seep in and it's just going to really nourish and hydrate that skin. I am a, a huge advocate of this product. This is 100% squalene oil and this one comes from sugarcane. I said olives in one video and someone let me know that I got the source wrong. But so it's a vegan product. And what I do is I just put a little bit of this oil. It's a very thin, thin, thin oil. And maybe right before I go to sleep, I'll just put some on my chest. And it's just going to keep that skin looking extra, extra, or feeling extra, extra, extra hydrated. And for my skin, I really need that. My skin is incredibly dry. I actually use this oil all over my body, including my face. And sometimes I'll just put the remnants of it on my hair. But our bodies naturally produce the squalene to keep our skin just so moisturized, healthy. And unfortunately, as we get older, the production of it declines. So we can replace it. Now it's called squalene in the bottle. And that's because it has to undergo a few chemical reactions to become a more stable form of squalene so we can use it. Otherwise, it'll go rancid real quick. But I highly recommend squalene if you're ever looking for a nice oil for your skin. It is my number one oil. I think it's the fountain of youth. So after I'm moisturized and maybe I'm a little oiled up, I go to bed. In the morning, I put on my sunblock as soon as I wake up. And the one I use is this one. It's by Supergoop Play. And this is an SPF 50. This is a broad spectrum sunblock. It's going to counteract both the UVA, which are the silent agers, or the ones that are going to give you those hyperpigmentations and um, you know the wrinkles and all of that. And then the UVB rays, which are the burning rays. This is a chemical sunscreen. I personally prefer to use chemical because a mineral just sits on top of your skin. Living in Dubai and just me by nature, I might get a bit sweaty and then that is that protection is just gonna come off and then I have no protection on my body. So for me, chemical is the way to go. Skin absorbs it. Once it's in there, any rays that are absorbed are going to just be deflected and they're gonna dissipate as heat. Now, sometimes if I run out of this product, I will use this one. And this is by, by Bioderma. This is a lower price point. This is the Photoderm Spray SPF 50. And this is also a great one. And the handle is super useful. This one does leave a little bit of a white cast, but for me, it doesn't show up that much on my skin, so I can tolerate it. I also sometimes, if I'm in the car, as you know, when I get in the car in my hand care video, I love to put my sunblock on my hands right away. This is just what I do. And sometimes I'll also just put it on my chest just to give my chest a little bit of extra protection. And in terms of devices, I have shown this one before. I have a video on actually devices that you really don't need to have. But this one, this is the current body and this is a red light. And I can just read, I'm a big time reader, I love to read. And I'll just put it on my chest and just go like this and just kind of move it around a little bit now and then because obviously you can see there's holes in it. So some parts aren't going to get the red light. But this type of LED treatment is going to just increase collagen um, production in the skin and give you firmer skin. So, I mean, just laying down like this, there's no 
it's the easiest thing. So it's just a great way to give that chest area a little bit of extra care. I do sleep with a body pillow. I'm a side sleeper and I sleep with a body pillow and I actually put it in between my breasts when I sleep. I started using a body pillow when I was pregnant with my uh, daughter and then I had my son afterwards. I've never stopped. It gives me great lumbar support, support. but having that uh, body pillow in between my breasts and laying down is kind of helped to prevent them from uh, you know, being on top of each other and having those types of lines. Now I do have the lines and you know what, that's something that's just part of getting older. And I always say it's such a blessing to be whatever age I'm currently at. I'm 40 years old now and I am so grateful. I'm so happy to be 40 because there's so many people that didn't make it to 40. So it's just for me the biggest blessing and I, you know, roll with it. I can flow with it. And yeah, of course I'm not going to be like how I was at 20, but I, I've, I've never felt younger in my entire life, to be honest. So the body pillow though, I think really does help. And um, you can see that the lines are there a little bit. They're not too, too, too obvious, but um, you know, having that pillow has definitely minimized the amount that my breasts are squashed together and just those grooves that happen from that. So that is my chest care routine. And I really like all the products I'm using. I also make a point to get the most out of the products I use. So you'll see that these same products pop up in different videos. I don't feel like I need to have specific things for everything. I find stuff that kind of works for all the different purposes I need it for. And for me, that just saves me a lot of money. And if you're wondering what my nighttime skincare routine is, I have a video on it right here.